anyway welcome to the lockdown diaries day five my name is Anakin and I live in the southwest of England uh, here in England we are currently in a lockdown situation it's not as strict as some countries like Spain and Italy uh, but we don't have quite the numbers um, of COVID-19 cases yet that they have um, I heard this morning that they reckon, still reckon we're about two weeks behind Italy, which is really scary because I think Italy's been on the lockdown now for, what, six weeks or something? And turning on the news every day, it's just scary. Um, I'm trying to watch as little news as possible. We do watch a lot of news in the evenings. I'm trying not to watch the news during the day and I'm trying not to look on Twitter too much because Twitter is another place where I follow a lot of uh, political commentators and news type people. Um... And I find that when I do look on Twitter and when I do watch the news, it does make me feel slightly anxious. Not as anxious as it did last week. I think I'm feeling slightly better this week, a little bit more relaxed, a little bit calmer. Last week, my anxiety levels were rising rapidly, but this week is better. So I hope you're OK um, wherever you are in the world, whatever the situation is where you are. Perhaps you want to leave a comment to tell me what the situation is where you live. Are you in lockdown? Are you still got paramount freedom? Or is it even tighter than this here in the UK? Here in the UK, we're allowed to go outside for uh, essential shopping uh, and to take one form of daily exercise. So we've got a dog who normally needs walking twice a day, so we normally, we're taking it in turns. So um, this morning, Sam and Emily took him out for a long walk, so this afternoon, Vanessa and I will take him out for a slightly shorter walk. Anyway, I thought I would show you <coughs> the progress. <coughs> That's not Corona symptoms. I've got a slightly croaky voice today, but it's not nothing. I haven't got any other symptoms. So, uh, a couple of things to show you today. First, the start of my mystery knit along, and also some new yarn that just arrived. So, um, knit along, my spring knit along. Um, I was going to call it the lockdown knit along, but I decided to go with spring knit along. So, uh, it started yesterday. The first two videos, there's one video showing um, kind of like a little bit of my design process when I start designing something. Um, and then there's a video with the first, where I sort of explain the first clue, um, the first part of the pattern. I post both of those in my Facebook group, Love of Lace Knitting, and on my YouTube channel uh, yesterday. So if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll put the link to the Facebook group below. Uh, so if you want to join us and you're not already a member, please join us and share photos. You can also share photos on Instagram and I've got a hashtag which is hashtag AHA Spring Cow. Uh, I'll put the hashtag below as well. Um, don't know how long this little one is going to go on for, on for, we'll see. Once I finish the show, I'll then set a deadline a few weeks later. I think this lockdown is going to be a long time wondering whether I need to go and close that door but so I have done um I think part the first part chart a okay I haven't got the whole pattern here I've only got the actual chart uh I think I said to do 12 times in total uh I got th two and a half repeats left so what I'm hoping to do is finish part a part one which is chart a today uh and then tonight I will Block this out while it's on the needles. Um, I will, it's nearly the length of my needle, so I have to put it on a slightly longer needle. But I will pin this out um, overnight. So I'll pin it out while it's still on the needles, spray it with water, and then leave it to dry overnight so I can see exactly what it looks like. I actually had planned to do that when I got to like about that point uh, because I am using slightly bigger needles than normal. Normally I'd use four millimeter needles, and I'm using four and a half. So I was going to pin it out um, before I released the first clue, uh, just to make sure I was happy with the needle size, um, but I didn't, and I'm not changing my mind now. <laughs> Got to keep going now. So this is what it looks like so far. One thing I realised is that black yarn is a pain to photograph. So um, it's got the stitch, and then it's got this edging with some big double yarn overs, which I quite like the, how that's knitting up. Um, these edgings will kind of, there's points that you can pull out and you block it um, to exaggerate that a bit. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to blocking that tonight to see exactly what it looks like. Um, because I'm knitting with black yarn, I'm actually using my um, Yarnivore project bag from um, Vicky Brown. 
is science i think it is i'll put her um if you're watching youtube i'll put her link below um got this as a special kit around christmas time it came with this bag and a skein of sock yarn which i'm currently knitting socks with i actually meant to bring the socks upstairs to show you as well but i forgot so uh, these are the other colors i'm going to add to this uh, knit along next week so i'm hoping to finish part one today and then start working on part two tomorrow so i can film the tutorial for it either monday or tuesday um and then um i've mainly been working on that for the last couple of days i've done a little bit on my circular shawl and yesterday evening I did a little bit on my crochet blanket because I was a bit cold on the crochet blanket. It's getting quite big. So I can actually cover my lap with it, which is quite nice. But I'll talk more about the crochet blanket another day. Um, and um, I also have done a little bit on my socks this morning. Um, I'm taking a an essential oil um, specialist certification course at the moment. And I was working on some of that this morning watching some of the videos and taking some notes and that kind of stuff and I was knitting on my socks while I was doing it because um, they're fairly easy and I probably I've decided to do the 100 rounds on the leg of the sock and I think I've got to 95 so I might actually finish those today as well you don't never know uh, or finish the first sock anyway okay and another thing that arrived this morning I mean this is super speedy delivery um, I ordered this um, yesterday from uh, Wool on the X in Exeter in Devon and um, it arrived this morning so really pretty um, pastel shades of kind of lilac and pink um, I believe they are I'm pretty sure they are naturally dyed I think they're naturally dyed um, it's a vegan blend four ply it's 70% natural bamboo 30% linen um, I love the colour. Um, I wasn't sure what it was feel like what it would feel like, but I I'm quite keen to try some non wool yarns just to see what they're like. And I thought these would make a really pretty shawl for the summer and a bit lighter as well for the summer. Um, <clears throat> and it felt to me um, I haven't knitted with a ton of bamboo yarns, but I have knitted with some. Um, but this feels feels like you can feel the linen more than the bamboo um, at the moment, which it's surprising because it's seventy percent bamboo, but I'm wondering whether maybe the bamboo is less processed than a lot of bamboos. So that might be why I don't know. But I'm really looking forward to knitting with this. It's really soft, uh, beautiful colours. Um, so that's wool on the X. So I'm really excited about that. But I won't be casting on for that yet. Uh, a few weeks time. Um, hopefully we'll see. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed watching this. Um, I'll also tell you quickly. I got my diffuser going here. Um, I'm diffusing a lot of a blend at the moment called Onga, which is a blend of essential oils that uh, supports your immune system. So I'm diffusing a lot of that at the moment. It has got oils like um, clove, cinnamon, eucalyptus, wild orange, and possibly some other ones, rosemary, I think. Um, and then I put in some peppermint with it. Peppermint, peppermint is very energizing um, and I'm feeling really tired. So I'm going to take a couple of drops of peppermint in my hand now rub my hands together, cup my nose and just take a few deep breaths um, just to get it more into my system and wake me up a bit. I meant to do it before I started filming but I forgot. Anyway, I hope you're having a good weekend. Is there anything, any difference between your weekends and your working week now if you're working from home? Um, I don't know. For me it's not really that much difference but then I work from home all the time anyway so um, for me this period isn't actually that much different. Um, but hope you're okay having a good time with your family or the people you are isolating with or if you are living alone i hope you're managing to um, have some contact with other people thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time